Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Juicer. So it's nice and compact. It's um, really easy to use. So I'm going to show you all the parts that come with your juicer and how easy it is to juice. This is your cover. Um, you can leave this on to keep the dust, um, you know, out of the inside of it while you're not using it. It can be used to um, uh, juice the fruit as you're going. I personally find it easier to use my hand, but that's completely up to you. This is your um, juicer. This is often referred to as a reamer. And then this is also, um, in here you have what's referred to as like pulp control. It's also marked here. So you have um, release, low, medium, and high. So the reason you want to do this is that um, to release, you just twist that way and remove it and it can go right in the dishwasher for washing. So after you release it, you push, put it back together. And then what you can do is there's a little um, bar here and um, that is going to indicate what level you're on. So right now I'm on low, then I'm on medium, and then I'm on high. So if you look, in here you can see when it's on high there's lots and lots of openings that means that you're going to have a lot of pulp in your juice so if you prefer um, low pulp put it on low you'll notice that there's no openings whatsoever so you have no pulp in your juice so low medium and high i like a lot of pulp in my juice so i'm going to leave it on high so then um, the next item is this is um, the uh, juicing basket which then actually has the juice go down through the tube and into your um, carafe. This is um, 24 ounces, so it holds quite a bit of juice. The great thing about it is it can go right in the refrigerator. If you put the lid on, put it right in the refrigerator, and you can store your fresh juice in there. So if you're going to juice, you can juice a lot at once, and then um, you have yourself covered for um, a couple of days if you prefer. So when you're going to juice, though, you're going to remove this lid, obviously, otherwise the juice won't pour down into the carafe. Um, the nice thing I like about a carafe also is it makes it really easy to um, pour your juice directly into a glass. Um, so that's a nice added benefit. And the other thing that's great, too, is you'll notice there's measure markings here. Um, if you want to make sure that you only have four or eight ounces of juice in a portion, you can um, just use this as a measure marking for that. So that's really great to keep um, on top of portion control. So like I mentioned, I have this set on high. I'm going to put it in here. I'm just going to put the lid back on just so we um, don't lose that for the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up a few things. This is our, obviously, our fresh fruit. Always wash it in advance. Um, and then what you're going to do, too, is it should be room temperature. You get the most juice out of your fruit if it's room temperature. And then we always recommend that you roll your fruit a little bit to help um, make it uh, juiceable. <laughs> so it'll help make it, uh, you get more juice out of it. The other thing, too, is always look for firm juice, um, firm fruit when you're um, buying uh, fruit for juicing. So let me cut up a few items. I'm going to start with um, limes. And all of the fruit that I have on this tray today, I've already, um, we've already washed and rolled everything. So we're just um, cutting up so that we can prepare. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little trick. I have a little escapey there. I'm going to show you a little trick what I'm going to do with some of this lemon and uh, lemons and lime. So, so there you have it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wipe my hands a little bit because I got a little sticky, is um, Sometimes you know how you buy fruit and then you're like, oh, I never used it. Sometimes you have a couple of lemons or limes rolling around in the bottom of your fruit bin in the refrigerator. This is a great thing to do. What you do is juice up all those lemons and limes and then using an ice cube tray, just fill this up with um, your excess fruit juice. And if you have anything left over, um, you can continue on like this and then what I like to do is, this is a great thing to use when you're cooking, 
because say you're making something like shrimp or you want to add just a little bit of lemon for a little bit of zip you can pop one of these ice cubes out of the freezer and pop it right into your cooking pan and you're all set you get a nice fresh flavor so we're going to continue on with the limes i'm going to show you the same thing you can add a couple of um, little bit of lime juice to our ice cube tray this is a really great idea just to use things up so you have no food waste in your house and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a couple of oranges so i can show you that so let's get started with this So let's go ahead and pour off some juice that we made fresh in our Cuisinart citrus juicer. Perfect size for a portion. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to um, cut up a couple of grapefruits and we're going to go ahead and juice some grapefruits. really pretty, delicious, and fresh. So there you have it, the Cuisinart Citrus Juicer. It's great for lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruits, any citrus that you want to juice at home.